Hello YouTube, this is going to be my second or third video on Active Directory. We're just doing some labs here on testout.com. Uh, so this is this is with their lab simulator. And it's uh, pretty good. It's, it does the job. Um, but t today we're going to be messing with group policy objects. And a group policy object is a set of rules inside of Active Directory that helps you apply computer settings and user settings to uh, computers that are inside of your domain. Now, these rules can come from multiple places. They do, they are applied in an order. They are applied in the local group policies first, which are, can be found on your computer, your local computer. Then there's the the group policy objects that are found on the site. Uh, after that, it's going to be a GPO's link to the domain that contains the user and computer object. And then after that, you're going to be getting uh, GPO's link to the organizational units that contain the user or computer object. And there's actually a small acronym you can use to remember this. It's LSDOU, and that stands for Local Site Domain and OU, Organizational Units. So. Alright, let's just get started. So, uh, right now I'm in the Active Directory lab and we are going to read the scenario here. You are the IT security administrator for a small corporate network. You would like to use group policy to enforce settings for certain workstations on your network. You have prepared and tested a security template file that contains policies that meet your company's requirements. In this lab, your task is to perform the following on Corp DC. Alright, on Corp DC. So let's go to local server. Computer name Corp DC. We are on Corp DC. Alright, go back to dashboard just because it looks. I don't know. Alright, so first we gotta create a GPO named workstation in the corpnet.local domain. So if you remember last time we went up to tools and you're going to see here active directory it's not going to be in any of these right here you would think it would but it's going to actually be group policy management so let's go ahead and click that you're going to see the forest this is the that's highest in the hierarchy here the forest and we got trees the trees it's organizational units all right so we're going to click inside of domains we got corporate.local with that drop down arrow and right here let me expand this a little bit actually I'm just gonna let it take the whole screen pull this over all right so you're gonna see that we have a default domain policy already in place and that's pretty standard for when you're you got a domain already. Uh, if you want to create a new GPO you're gonna right click on the domain and it's gonna say create a GPO in this domain and link it here. So we need to name it workstation settings and hit OK. Now on to our second task, which is we're going to be linking the workstation settings GPO to the following organizational units, which is temp marketing, temp sales, support. So we gotta go inside marketing, and this is pretty easy, like you just it's not too hard. If you're clicking around you could probably figure this out a little bit. But in temp marketing, link an existing GPO, that's what we want to do. We find workstation settings down here. Click it, that's okay. As simple as that. Tomatoes, potatoes. Alright, temp sales, link an existing GPO. And 
and then another one we're gonna hit the whole OU the top OU right here workstation settings boom we got that done all right so now we got to import the WS underscore sec dot INF template file located in the C drive templates to workstation settings group policy object all right let's see if I remember how to do this I believe let's see here um, so I think you go to workstation settings you right click it edit it's gonna bring us to group policy management editor all right and so now what we're going to do is is it in software it's not software it's going to be in security settings here all right so if you saw that i went in computer configuration down to the policies down to the windows settings and it is going to be security settings here we're going to be able to import that template if we right click security settings import policy now we just got to find the drive drill is the c drive open oh, let's double click that and the was templates yep, right here click that open and we should be good to go now. And here's just where you can find a lot of different security settings for the group policy, policy object. You could do a lot of stuff. You could do computer configurations. You could do user configurations. And a quick thing about computer configurations is anything you do in the computer configuration, um, this will apply the policies and rules on to every computer every user on that computer whereas user configuration is a bit more specific to the users and that should be everything we did here let's go to the lab real quick and we got 100% alright guys I do appreciate it uh, if you were watching through and you enjoyed the content leave me a comment like or subscribe even but i'm just doing this uh just to showcase my skills and just to help people out there that might be a little stumped and want to have a better understanding of active directory so yeah i will be making more videos but in the meantime i will see you guys later